thank you. Thank you for my kisses. <laughs> <laughs>
the top of the boxes. Um, I'm mainly going to be using a green one. These are from, we have that green one in here. I have, we have a bunch of these because in high school I made my own mums. If you don't know what a mum is, you're probably not from Texas, but it's these big ribbon things that you wear for homecoming and I loved making mums so much. Um, I even made my best friend's um, senior mum and uh, her boyfriend asked me to make it for her, her boyfriend at the time. I also have another box for that project. Um, okay, so something, I have to make this present. I still have to make it, but um, my mom has never like had like a personalized stocking before. Like my sister and I both have stockings that our grandma made for us. Um, and we have little knickknacks and things on there. It's absolutely beautiful. And then my dad um, has his stocking growing up that has his name like stitched into the stocking. And so I thought it'd be fun to make my mom her own stocking with her name on it because hers is just a plain stocking. So I got the letters for her name and then I got these beautiful iron-on roses, they're iron-on letters, um, to put on the stocking. So I plan on doing that. Willow is coming to say hello. No, there's, there's no food in here. There, there's no food in here. There, I'm sorry. Here, you wanna come over here? Come here. No? She just wanted to know what the, all the hubbub was about. Um, so that's what that is. I still have to make that present. But I wanted to show you the two ornaments that I got her. So as I talked about before, oh, Willow, there's no food over here. <laughs> she sees sacks and bags and like thinks it's from the grocery store. So she has to smell everything. But dude, no, none of it, none of it is yours. Thank you. Thank you for my kisses. I love you too. Actually, I don't know, maybe she like can smell like I got her some, or all the dogs some greenies and they're in one of these bags and that's their Christmas present. So maybe she smells those. I have no idea, but they're like in a bag packed away and she can't see them. So you saw in one of my past vlogs videos, I decorated our chandelier with all of my mom's sea ornaments. She loves sea ornaments. We're an ornament collecting family. Um, we haven't put our Christmas tree yet up up yet because our Christmas tree is currently in storage. Oh, what's going on? Why are you crying? Um, so I feel I'm like really sad because decorating the Christmas tree is my absolute favorite thing to do during Christmas. Um, because we have like over 100, 200 ornaments and um, they're all glass and beautiful and we're, we're just a collecting family. And so every year my mom like gets a new ornament for all of us. And so I found two C ones to get her because she loves her sea ornaments and so i found two of them and so this is the first one we, i found a beautiful octopus here and there's the back this one was really pretty i had to get it and then the other one is my favorite that i found i had to get it it is a stingray like look how beautiful this is like that is so pretty i love it so i had to get it for her and then in this box i just have bags for packing presents away that can't be wrapped i also love wrapping by the way wrapping christmas presents is like my abs one of my other favorite things to do um like my mom always asks me to wrap presents because uh she doesn't like doing it so i ended up getting my dad this cord wrap organizer thing he complains about his cords getting all mixed up so that's what I did there. Then um, I got my dog some balls that are squeaker. My mom just let them outside, so that's why they're probably not messing with those balls right now. Actually, I just realized the greenies aren't in here. Yeah, we took them out. Never mind. The greenies aren't in here, so maybe she just had a sixth sense about balls because balls are her life. Um, I got my dad this um, high-performance flashlight because we now live in the woods and we can't see anything outside, and so got him a flashlight and then I also got him a mug of uh the school that I go to so that's what that is in here it's a giant mug he loves big mugs so the last thing that I have currently I still have things in the mail obviously I need to wrap are these little um planter signs I got these off of Etsy and my mom loves her garden as I said before and so I just bought three of them and they're little signs you put in the ground and so this one says cucumber this one says carrots and this one says squash because i know that she has all of those my mom gardens a lot of things but i don't know specifically what she's growing sometimes but i know she does these three so 
I got those three just to be safe. And if she wants more, they're only $1.75 to buy. So, so those are all the things that I'm going to be wrapping. Y'all, something I learned today, Taylor Swift is releasing her new album at midnight tonight. Y'all, I will be listening to that bad boy like holy crap within five months like five months ago she released folklore and now she's releasing a whole new one like that's ridiculous i love her so much i can't wait to listen to this album at midnight it's probably going to be in tomorrow's vlog because it's releasing at midnight so it's the next day so stay tuned for that whenever that comes out so i gotta take the stickers off these things and then wrap them. I'll put a little montage in of me wrapping some of them, not all of them, because uh, there are too many to wrap in. Y'all don't wanna watch that, probably. finished wrapping everything so i wanted to show you this one is all wrapped and pretty we have this one was the ring light we have this one and then another one that um has my mom's ornaments and then the same one for my dad and then there's this pretty one and there's also this pretty one and then the pride and joy out of all of it is the one i wrapped for my dad's headphones Okay, so this is the uh, the big present that had that little box. Ready? Like this is the big present. <laughs> like this huge thing, ha like it's supposed to have a box like that big. I didn't like show the process because my phone wasn't um, free of storage, so I had to delete some stuff. But so I didn't get to film it. But so. What I did was I had the little box. I put that inside of an Amazon slip-in package that like a book goes in. And then I put that inside of a little other box, wrapped that up in wrapping paper, put it inside of a sack, taped the whole sack. And then I put that inside of another book slip-in Amazon box. And then I put that inside of another cardboard box and filled it with shavings of wrapping paper and then then wrapped that whole box in wrapping paper put a bow on it and then i got another sack another big sack taped it up all around it and then i got a trash bag a heavy duty trash bag and duct taped it all the way around it <laughs> okay used almost the entire roll of duct tape and then um put it inside of this with some uh tissue paper so <laughs> That's what he is in store for on Christmas, and I'm very excited because of uh, finally getting him back from all the times he made us do that. So, <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it. He's been needing these headphones. He's like having to wear like the old school Apple ones with the cord and everything. And I can just tell he's frustrated that he can't wear wireless headphones anymore. Um, so 
very excited for him to open that. So now I'm going to move all of these presents into the main house because I wrapped them in the apartment. But we don't have a Christmas tree yet because of moving and everything. And so I'm just gonna end up putting it somewhere in the living room, all the presents, and clean up my mess. And then I'm 75% of the way through Fire in His Veins by Ruby Dixon. This one is so unique and cool. Like it's filled with different plot elements and everything. I like this one. It's very unique compared to the other ones in the story or the series, sorry. I'm really enjoying it. So this one is like about um, a dragon who has like been in his human form this whole entire time, the past seven years, the apocalypse has, since the apocalypse started seven years ago, he's been in his human form the entire time, has not shifted into a dragon and like cut off his mind from the dragon people and hasn't shifted into a dragon so that he can't be controlled by the evil people there and he can't become mad because dragons in this land, like now apocalyptic earth, like the reason why dragons are blowing everything up is because they're like crazy mad. And so um, if he doesn't turn into a dragon, he can be crazy, so he doesn't. So he stays at this fort with a bunch of other survivors and there he meets Andrea or Andy and um, Andrea's little brother goes missing and escapes the fort, like runs away. And so they're both going to go find him. I really like it so far. I'm 75% of the way through it and I can't wait to continue. So I started again the magic. I literally read two pages before it got too hot outside or I was sitting in the sun. And so um, I'm going to, after I clean everything up, going to either finish my book and I have to do that bracelet and edit my ebook haul and read some of again the magic. So I have a bunch of things to do and it's, it's 4.30 so. I gotta do all those things. So I'll chat with y'all later. Hello, my wonderful friends. This is gonna be the last clip of the vlog. You're gonna have to bear with the dog crying because he wants to go see mom in the main house when um, she is asleep and she doesn't like sleeping with him. So <laughs> also you're gonna help me do my hair or watch me do my hair, not help me do my hair. And I wanted to do my um, wavy hair for tomorrow. So I'm getting out my um, billion hair ties more like six hair ties um i want to do my wavy hair so that it looks wavy tomorrow so i get a bunch of hair ties and then i split it up into braids um so first we're gonna brush my hair and at first i use when it's wet i use the redken i can't read it with my glasses on Whoop. that would probably help um the 25 benefits one united all in one multi-benefit treatment and um my uh, hairdresser um, recommended that I use this because I was complaining about having, there we go, split ends. Um, and I don't use heat excessively, like I just don't. And so I was very confused as to why I have horrible split ends. And she was like, oh, you may be because of the way you're brushing it and you need like a, this thing to help. So um, that's what she recommended. So that's what I got. So I'm just gonna be brushing it out but um yeah this is gonna be the last clip of the night i am going to um finish fire in his veins tonight while exporting the vlog you're currently watching and also while i'm doing that i'm going to be um finishing my friend's my best friend's bracelet that i made her or it's not it's too long to be a bracelet so let me show you so i only have one more word left i just have to write court out or do the pattern of court. You probably can't even read that, but it says highlighting of the night. And then I have to do court and then I'm done. <laughs> These actually take so long to do. So she is coming to visit me tomorrow as well as another one of my wonderful friends. And we're gonna be hanging out for the next couple of days and they're gonna be staying with me. So you might see them in my vlogs if they're comfortable with it. I'm also going to be staying up till midnight so that I can, um, listen to Taylor Swift's new album that I'm very excited for. I think I'm gonna do my reaction in um, tomorrow's vlog. So you can anticipate my reaction. I won't be playing the songs, but I'll just like give my over overall reaction to Taylor Swift's new album. And now I'm gonna take a chunk of hair, maybe like this much, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Take this much and then put it into a braid. I have not done much today. I wrapped those Christmas presents like I showed you. Um, and then I've mainly been hanging out with my um, family 
and my mom and I are really into the Great British Baking Show. I've already seen all of it, um, but that was a couple years ago. My mom and I watched the recent season first, and then we went back and watched season one, and we're now on season two, um, because she's never seen any of it. Like, the season that recently came out was the first time she's ever watched it. So, um, we went back to watch the other one. So, we've been, like, watching an episode a night, basically. And, or an episode until she falls asleep, basically. So, <laughs> I chatted with my friends on the phone today because they're going to be coming here tomorrow. And we were planning everything out. So, I'm going to have to get up early tomorrow to go to, um, the grocery store. So, we can have snacks and everything, um, while they are here. I also started, again, the magic by Lisa Klaikos, like I talked about earlier. Um, that's gonna be for my secret TBR video that you're gonna watch, hopefully, this month, if not next month. Um, I don't know yet. It just depends on if the last book that I have to read for this vlog that I'm making, um, comes in through the library because the wait for it right now is seven weeks and I just hope people like freaking listen to this book really quickly so that I can finally get my hands on it you know okay so I did these two and then I'm gonna quickly do the other ones off camera because this is getting way to be way too long of a clip hello we are back I have my one two three four five six did I only use six I guess I this little piece is hanging out but you know what it's fine, I don't want to redo the whole entire braid. So I have six braids here, and I'm going to sleep in them, and they're going to have a pretty wave when I wake up. Ollie is just whining. He needs to stop whining. He's actually also whining for me to go to bed, because the reason why he wants to go in the main house is because my mom is already asleep, and he wants to cuddle and go to sleep, and I am not in bed yet, and so he's mad at me for not going to sleep. Like that's why he's crying. Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess that's it for this vlog. I did not finish a book today. I'm going to be finishing a book today um, after I edit and upload this vlog. Um, but I wanted to get this out as soon as possible so that I can do my Taylor Swift reaction. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go watch um, some booktube, listen to my book, and finish my friend's um, bracelet and everything. So thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow with tomorrow's vlog. Bye, y'all.